Hello guys, welcome to Codocraft. So today we'll see how to uh, run our command, I mean java-jar, which is starting your Spring Boot application in the background. Okay. As uh, earlier for, for the uh, for the normal java-jar command, if you are running, you need to keep your putty alive, right? And that many people don't want. So what we can do is we can run a command which will be running even if you have closed your putty. Okay. So before that, what I'll do is I'll um, run my application here. Okay, so let's start the application. Yeah, I think it's just a refresh. Let me start again. Okay, so the application is starting now. Okay, now let me connect it with uh, my putty. I had uh, saved a session, right? So let me just load this session and before i load i what i'll do is i'll just check whether you know the ipv4 address let me just refresh this okay we select it okay so this number changed the ip address has changed so let me just Click on this and get the new host. Okay, so now get this new host. I load this and okay. Now I'll save it and open. Okay, I'll accept. Okay, now I'm connected to the EC2 console, right? Okay, so now here first. With the ls command, I have just checked the uh, file name. Okay, let me just check it. And okay, so this is the jar file which I want to copy, right? So and sudo java hyphen jar. Then this is the value of the jar file. This is the name of the jar file. So if you want to run it, it will also run, okay? But if you want to, now I don't want to run it because I want to run my command in background, right? So what I'll do is, I'll just do sudo su, okay? Now I am a root user, okay? So let's put the command no hub. This is the command starting, then java hyphen jar, then right click. Okay, so here if I run this command, then what will happen? It will just start running. Okay, now you can see there's no nothing. Okay, so let's keep it aside. And what I'll do is I'll run another putty session load open. Okay. So I'm getting another session here. I'll just see my output file. Okay. As it is saying here, what it is saying that ignoring input and appending output. As we have not given anything here. So any file name here. So it is going to the default file name. No hub dot out. Okay. Which is there inside. Okay. It will not be there. It will be created okay, immediately when you come and you run it. So now what we'll do is. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just run the to read the file there. Okay, tell no hub dot out. Okay, as my permission is denied because I am not the root here, sudo okay, tell no hub dot out okay so you can see started att service location this is this, this right so that means it has started correctly now let's go and test it so we have the new host right so let's go and check the new host this is the new host right 174 
let's change this this was the older host okay yes there you go okay so one more thing we can try is this okay so let's say here you don't want this no hope to be created right you want some different file right so what you will do you will write same no hub command okay so let's copy this thing this complete line then what we'll write we'll write no hub and this line then right arrow then let's say you want to give app underscore log dot txt okay okay so now in a, another tab let's see in the session let's see let's connect another session load okay open okay here let's trail sudo tell what you've given app underscore log okay so you can see now the logs are saving getting saved to this file which you have mentioned here right this is the file app log txt this file we have mentioned here in this no hub command i think wrongly i put two times anyways so no hub command and then this file is created okay so now let's see whether our instance is running or not right so let's send a request yes it's running now what i'll do i'll close this session okay yes okay i have closed it i'll close this session as well okay now let's see it's running right it's running now okay so i think that's all that's how you can run your uh run your application in the c2 instance without running your without staying alive in your session in putty right so this will uh, help you running in your process in the background and your outputs your uh, console you can tell it anytime from the putty itself and see it's a real time thing otherwise you can go inside and see what is there in the file when you want to debug it okay so that's all guys for today See you in the next video.